all right congratulations to you fellow nigerians happy that you made it and may this 2024 new year bring us great joy and fulfillment by the special grace of god now here are five things that nigeria and nigerians and indeed all africans for those who might be going through the same things that nigeria is going through five things that we must do in 2024 in order for us to survive the hardship that the policies of Tinubu is throwing or will throw at us in 2024. I don't know what your experience was in 2023. Maybe you were part of those people that suffered immensely under the inflation, under the high cost of living, under the lack of jobs, the unemployment of 2023, under this Tinubu administration, that the fuel subsidy remover or the floating and unification of the Naira, the devaluation of the Naira, the um, opening of the borders to allow for more imported products, destroying our local economy. All of these policies, if you are one of those that were on the receiving end of these policies, then if you think that you are going to have it differently in 2024 without doing anything different, then you're joking. It doesn't matter how many prayers have been made for you. It doesn't matter how many amens you have shouted for, how many prophetic declarations. It doesn't matter. There are five things that we must do in Nigeria if we must, if we must have it differently and have the best year ever for us as citizens of Nigeria in 2024. What are these five things? Number one, at the foundation of it all, we must enact the free food stamp and social welfare law that will guarantee that every Nigerian that does not have a job, that does not have money to feed, will be given at least one free meal every day for the rest of their lives. We must sign that law. We must enact that law and pass it and force President Tinubu to sign it into law. We must do it because if we don't do it, the continued the system of corruption and oppression in Nigeria will continue. And the sufferings that we have experienced hitherto up to this point will even become worse so the only way the starting point for us to move nigeria towards a nigeria that works for everybody to move nigeria towards a direction that is different from the one it is headed which is downhill for us to do that we need to first of all number one enact this free food stamp and social welfare law that we guarantee free food for every single nigerian that do not have the money that do not have guaranteed personal income. We need to do that. Then when we are finished with that, number two is we must enact a law to ban foreign trips, foreign medical trips for all government officials. Now, the attention is focused or fixed on political office holders that have a penchant for traveling out to get medical treatment. Um, the president, the governors, the senators, and all that. But you see, for Nigeria to change, for Nigeria to work for every Nigerian, for Nigeria to move in the path of development, Nigeria must ban every government official, anybody that is working for government, whether appointed or elected or employed, anybody that is working for government, in this new year 2024, must be banned from going abroad for medical trip. You see, the monies that we spend on foreign trips is more than 10 times the money that we require to develop our economy and our healthcare system in Nigeria. So if we want a Nigeria that works, a Nigeria where there is job, a Nigeria that works for every Nigerian, the second step is to enact this law, the foreign medical trips um, prohibition law. All right, we must enact it. It is called the Medical Tourism Prohibition Law. That is how we have termed it. That is the second thing that we, as a country, Nigeria, must do to improve our lot, whether financially, intellectual, intellectually, economically. We must do it to improve our revenue and stop our revenue drain. Because medical tourism for political office holders and government officials, it constitutes uh, income drain for Nigeria as a country and of course with income drain comes lack of development corruption and all the like so the second thing that we must do as Nigerians to make 2024 a better year 
for all Nigerians is for us to enact the medical tourism prohibition bill or law. Number three comes close to this medical tourism prohibition law. And number three thing that we must do is to also enact a law called educational tourism prohibition law. Educational tourism prohibition law. That's the third thing that we must do. If we succeed in banning foreign education up to the first degree level, we ban it for anybody who is working for government or anybody who is interested in working for government. If we ban it, at least if you want to run for government as a private individual in private business, then you must send your children to government schools. You know why? Because when you send your children to government school, it means that you have a stake to make sure that the government schools or schools in Nigeria, they work. So if you are a politician or intending politician with this educational tourism prohibition law, what it means for you as a private citizen is that if you have planned to run for any elective office, five years before that time, you must withdraw your children from foreign schools. From foreign schools, your children must be seen to attend either local private schools or local public schools. That is the only guarantee or uh, that, is, that would be a fundamental qualification criteria for anybody who wants to run for public office. And this will not stop with government or public office holders, elected or appointed. It will not. It will also be extended to anybody who is interested for working in government. With this law, the Education Tourism Prohibition Law, what it means is that anybody who is working for government will be banned from sending their children abroad. A situation where we have civil servants who are on a certain salary level that cannot afford even private universities sending their children abroad only goes to encourage corruption. So if we are interested in a Nigeria that works, that is corruption free, that will be moving rapidly towards industrialization and growing our economy, what we must do, the third thing is to stop or to stop foreign educational trips for government workers, not just public office holders, whether politically appointed or politically elected. We must do this. That's number three. Number four thing that we must do is we must enact a law that guarantees the reorientation of Nigerians towards building, towards creating, towards making, towards business. We have to develop a business mindset as a collective, as a country, as a nation. If not, we'll continue to be the dumping ground, the dumping ground that we are right now. Dumping ground of technology, dumping ground of manufacturers, dumping ground for food. We have to train our citizens to become business oriented and deal globally. And how do we do that? We have to execute a law that I call the business startup law that will make it easy for any Nigerian to start a business. And that law will guarantee free office space, free power, free um, uh, shared services that are required for businesses to start up. And then upon that, we give them incentive to move them in certain directions, starting with agriculture, um, manufacturers, and the likes. This law will, make sh will, will, will transform Nigeria from a consumption economy to a production economy. We need that. Then number five, we need a law that I call, or the number five thing that Nigeria must do for a better 2024 is for us as a country to enact the fifth law that I call the anti-corruption amnesty law. With this anti-corruption amnesty law, the, the provisions will prohibit any government worker, anybody that wants to work for government, whether they are in the private sector now, or they're planning to be employed into the government sector, or they are going to run for office and become political leaders, anybody that is working for government will and must or shall be prohibited from storing money abroad or investing money abroad for a period before, five years before when they want to run and 10 years after when they want to run. That period must be there where they invest solely in nigeria you see the reason why we need all of these five laws is so that we will avoid a situation which i call a conflict of interest situation we have leaders in nigeria that are not invested in nigeria they, they are not patriots they are on, they only see nigeria as a, a vehicle for stealing looted money 
for stealing money for themselves and they take this money abroad to the foreign countries. And of course, what do you know? It is designed like that by the foreign companies who chose to use corruption to corrupt and influence and blackmail, confuse our leaders so that they, we can continue to be dependent on them, so that our leaders can continue to sell us into slavery to them, so that they can continue to exploit our resources. This is all their game plan. So for us as a country, Nigeria, in 2024, this new year, if we want things to become new, then we must do these five things. Failure to do these five things, Nigeria will continue with the old way, and that is more suffering, more hunger, even in the new year, 2024. So what are you waiting for? I have a link in the description to the starting point of these five things, which is the free food stamp and social welfare law. You have a task. You have a, work, a job to do. You have something to contribute. We need you to look into the document and add your own thoughts or subtract parts that you feel we don't need. We need to work together to make these laws and pass them. Force them on the National Assembly. Force them on the President because ultimately, the sovereignty of Nigeria is with the people. Ultimate power rests with we the people. We cannot just continue to sit idly by while a few individuals captures the Nigerian state for their own benefit, not for the benefit of the over 200 million citizens of Nigeria. We must do this. Don't just think that it's time for a New Year resolution. The only New Year res resolution you should be talking about now is how to participate in this campaign to enact these laws so that indeed there will be free food, free food, free food for any Nigerian that is jobless, that does not have money, any Nigerian that does not have any income source, any Nigerian that that wants to, um, the, any Nigerian that cannot afford to feed themselves or their family, we want to provide at least one free meal every day for these Nigerians, like it is done everywhere else. We can do it. Let nobody tell you that it cannot be done. Let nobody tell you that we don't have the resources to do it. If you go through the law, you will see that we have put sources of funding for this law for this particular law so that there will be free food and free financial support for those who need it. We can't continue like this where extremely poor Nigerians have no idea where their next meal will come from, where they keep sending account details and begging rich corrupt politicians for help and are not guaranteed of favorable responses. In fact, many, 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 many of these extremely poor Nigerians do not even have access to these corrupt politicians that have put them in the conditions that they are in right now. So starting from day one, we have to take action. If indeed we are serious about a new country that works for everybody, you have a part to play. I have a part to play. I have started mine. Will you do yours?